The RC1 version of Recard came with some very interesting improvements. It was released a few days ago and it really brings improvements. An addition and improvement of tools on the Sketch Workbench allows you to save more time on the drawing now. No big improvements on the Part Design Workbench, but it seems that the appearance of the models will be improved now with the addition of materials and light source positioning settings in the screen preference. With this material task panel, we can do interesting improvements in the model appearance. Move or array transform, rotate or polar transform, scale transform, offset geometry are intended to speed up your design on the Sketcher workbench. Together with the improvements on the geometry tools, it helps a lot for sure. We can see here, the addition of mod M helps to switch between types of rectangles just hiding the MK and hiding UK or JK, we can do more things like adding rounded corners and the frame if you need, for example. A basic contextual constraints based on your selection, it's very good. No need of switching between dimensional constraints using the mouse or shortcuts like in versions related to this free card version. Now the dimension depends on which geometry you are selecting, if it is a line, arc or cycle and also if you are selecting more than one line or points. Also in where you make the last click after selecting what to constrain. Based on your selection, you create dimensional constraints easily and fast, that's good, right? This version also comes with a built-in assembly workbench, which is somewhat similar to the A2 Plus workbench. It offers a way to limit the movement of parts as you see here. It seems that in this new built-in assembly workbench we called, for example, assemble piece of a robot claw and test with the most the maximum opening of these claws. The Test Draw Workbench comes with similar improvements of Sketch Workbench, a context dimensional system based on your new selection. The self view tool was much improved, as you can see. There's a lot of improved stuff here on this workbench that needs exploration, and the Render Workbench also.